Okay, guys, just one about Frank Warren, Carl Froch. Uh, Carl Froch. Um, he's God, had... have I got the frock? The frock. He's had his say on, on Fury and Garnu as well. Um, this is what he said. It's another crossover fight, load of rubbish. He, Frank Warren, is on about the game's changed. Absolute load of shit. We don't want to see that fight. We want to see Fury in there with Alexander Usyk. That's what Froch said. Is that the same Cole Frock who wanted to fight Jake Paul? Yes. Okay. Right, next question. <laughs> well, carrying on with Cole, uh, separate. So, that's one. So, just looking at that part, so, Frock says, part of shit, basically, in the Garnu. So, Fury. So, Frank says, well, you know, didn't he want to fight Jake Paul? which he has wanted to. Now, the interviewer to me should have said, well, Frotch is not a world champion, is he? He's retired. And why is, you know, he goes on to AJ as well, but, you know, AJ was going to fight Nagano or something like that, but AJ said he wants to fight a champion, so he goes, why didn't he fight Fury? So, what this question Omar should have said is, why ain't he fighting the WBC top 15? Forget AJ and Music. There's 15 others in the WBC should be fighting. See, Sporting Icons, True Geordie, all these guys have said it's Omar. Must have seen a lot of these videos. Should make notes and say to Frank, you know, Frotch is retired. And, you know, he's a bit of a hypocrite myself, I think, because he... That's criticised people then. He's about AJ and to sort of retire and all that. Yet he's willing to come out for the right money versus Jake Paul. Does you know that mean? So if AJ wants to box on, that's his choice. Anyway, we'll go a bit further with this interview. We'll go to the next question. <laughs> well, carrying on with Carl, uh, separate away from Tyson Fury. Uh, you, you actually did an interview uh, with me about Carl and, and the Calzaghi fight, yeah. which didn't happen. Uh, he went on TalkSport and talked about this. I drove to London to speak to Frank Warren. He told me to forget about fighting Calzaghi. It's slander on my name. I'm surprised someone of his age would come out with these pure lies. He drove to London. He's battered old car, he said, didn't he? Because I've got the... I mean, I'll, you know, you told me this, so I've, I've got, got the quote. Um, the only reason I went down to London, three-hour drive, because I was the mandatory for the belt. So why would I go down if I didn't want to fight this rubbish? That's what he says, yeah. So we had that meeting on the 12th of July 2006, according to my diary. At that time, Joe was the IBF and WBO world champion. He beat Lacey on the 4th of March in 2006, and Frock was run, ranked number 10 in the IBF in March 2006. At the time of meeting Frock, he was the British and Commonwealth champion. I'm looking at no six, I have to write this down because I'm an old geezer. IBF number 7, WBO. He was ranked about number, I think he was ranked number three. And in the WBC, he was ranked number three. He wasn't mandatory to Joe Calzaghe at all. Using his phrase, word, he's a liar. So go and get dig the ratings. I've got them here. If you like, I'll send them to him. He was never the mandatory. So there we have it in Frank Wood. Frotch is a liar. And I don't believe you had an old beat up banger. That's just saying that to be one of the lads to me. You know, if he'd been boxing a few years, he had some pound notes by then. <laughs> anyway, that's what I point. So, Frotch is exaggerating the truth here. Because I'm sure Frank's got all the details. Not I'm a Frank Warren supporter or nothing. You know, normally he's full of bullshit about Fury. But to me, what can you believe about Frotch? Because, you know, me an AJ fan would say he just stirs the pot, twists the truth then to suit his own ends, isn't it? Because to me, you know, if you've got a good, if you don't lie, you got you don't need a good memory, do you? So me, you know, I try and stick to the truth. You know, even on these videos, what I believe is a uh, right and wrong type thing, you know. So AJ, the criticism give him Frotch gave AJ. I do think that some it's warranted because if you go back to the old AJ, when he beat 
Klitschko, he said it's the you slay a king. Now he lost the title against Ruiz in the rematch. I'm going to try and get the clips together. He cut his eye in the first round, Ruiz. AJ whacked him on the right eye. And I think he should have took Ruiz out in that rematch. Box clever had learnt his lesson not to be lackadaisy, that's all. He overthinks things, this is a problem, because he could have busted up Ruiz. And then when he lost the title, he didn't use it, the same thing. He went after him a bit more, but, you know, he should have been bullying people in sparring and that to me. And I think Opie does this now, his last roll of the dice, because really the Saudi Arabians for the rematch against Ruiz only put all the big money, I believe, because he was the exciting first fight. They thought it'd be another tear up, and it turned out to be a bit of a ball fest in some ways. But, you know, I'm glad he got a title back, but we need now. AJ got paid the big bucks as a knockout artist. A bit like Crawford, you know, there's not many now in that weights who knocks their opponents out, is it? It's normally a 12 round points decision, a lot of these fights now. You know, the middleweights, lightweights, evenly matched. But Crawford value's gone up because he stops people, doesn't he? He's a knockout artist. So if AJ can ever be what he was, he needs to start taking these people out, like White. Start with White. I expect a knockout myself. If AJ still got it in him. Because he oh I can get the points win and that, but that's not gonna make him a pay-per-view star again it? there's only a few pay-per-view stars Tank's one of them because he knocks people out <laughs> and uh, Crawford's going to be if he carries on what he's doing so uh, to me it's uh, Frost has been caught out lying then so you know don't just come and lie about AJ as well then if he's talking about didn't spar didn't run of course he did I know for a fact that AJ spars, it's always showing clips of him, even in amateur days. See, it's why I think that AJ having a dig at about his nose is more aimed at frots than McCracken. He just wanted to expand his boxing knowledge, that's all, like Lewis did. All the greats lost, left their original trainers, 99% of them did anyway, and uh, got better for it. Anyway, cheers guys, bye.